Coming up on today's show, Nissan spends heavy to sell Leafs. Only three brands account for most of the growth in the American market. And Camillo Pardo predicts what the next Ford GT will look like. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for December 8th. 2014. Sales of new cars and trucks in the U.S. market are up by nearly 760,000 units so far this year. But did you know that nearly half of that growth comes from only three brands? Jeep, Ram, and Subaru. Jeep sales are up nearly 200,000 units, Ram is up by 86,000, and Subaru by nearly 80,000. Quite a few other brands have enjoyed a healthy increase this year, but none of them come anywhere close to those three. They account for 47% of all the growth in the market this year. BMW is bringing its car sharing service to London, even though Daimler failed to make a go of it there with its car to go service. BMW will manage a small fleet of one series and many countrymen's with Sixth, a car rental company. The program is called Drive Now and using an app, Users will be able to pick up the cars and drop them off wherever they want within three boroughs of the city. Sixth, the rental company says it's going to make mobility so cheap that only the rich will buy cars. Well, let's see if that happens. Daimler threw in the towel on car sharing in London earlier this year, saying the British have too strong of a culture of car ownership. Even though sales of SUVs are going through the roof in the American market, Volkswagen can't seem to find more buyers for the Touareg. Sales are down 14% this year, so it's coming out with a refreshed design. But if you can spot the new ones on the street, you must either be a current owner or work for VW. That's how subtle the changes are. But VW is offering a host of electronic safety features like forward collision warning with full stop and blind spot detection. Torex start out at $45,000 and a hybrid version tops out the line at $68,000. Still to come, Nissan spends heavy to sell Leafs, Russians snap up luxury cars as the ruble plummets in value, and a look at what the next Ford GT might look like. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Harman International is a major supplier of sound systems to the automotive industry. No doubt you've heard of JBL, Infinity, and Mark Levinson. But have you ever heard of Revel? Me neither. Well, now Lincoln has teamed up with Harman for the next 10 years to offer the audio company's top-line Revel speakers. Featuring titanium speaker cones, the tweeter and mid-range speakers are positioned close together, what they call point-source architecture. Revel says this approach has never been offered in cars before. Does advertising work? You bet it does. According to a report in Autoblog, Nissan spent $30 million on television advertising for the Leaf so far this year in the U.S. market, and sales are up 45%. But that means Nissan is spending about five times more than it usually does on its cars and trucks. Clearly, Nissan CEO Carlos Ghosn is willing to spend heavy to push sales of EVs. Speaking of money, Russians are spending theirs as fast as they can as the ruble is in a free fall. Cars are a good investment right now because sticker prices have increased less than the soaring inflation rate. Sales of the Porsche Cayenne shot up 55% last month. Lexus jumped 63%. Of course, at some point, the bubble will burst. The Russian economy is forecasted to fall into a recession next year as President Putin's policies have turned so much of the world against him. What will the next Ford GT look like? Coming up next, the designer of the last one speculates on what Ford designers are working on right now. Here's one of the great things about the all-around performance of our Dueler tires. 
excellent traction. Do you need a ladder? Yes, I do. Okay. At Bridgestone, our passion for performance knows no bounds. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. The new Ford GT is rumored to be making its debut at the Detroit Auto Show next month and race at Le Mans in 2016 to celebrate the 50th anniversary of its win. Camillo Pardo designed the last GT and he joined us on AutoLine After Hours and speculated on what the new one will look like. Well, I think that it's about time to graduate from the retro thing and grow into a futuristic look, uh, something that basically communicates, you know, that we are moving on to the future. Um, and a lot of that can be influenced by racing. If you spent some time at Le Mans, you know, and, and looked at some of the vehicles that they're running there, obviously the GT was influenced by Le Mans anyways. <clears throat> uh, the, the vehicles, uh, the LMP, ones, LMP2s, uh, whatever they've been running, they, again to me, I, I keep referring back to like a fighter jet, it, it, it's just a, a series of functional components, you know, integrated with a skin, and it's basically an anatomy of functional parts that are aerodynamic, and for some reason, Oh, when, when, when you get all that working together, something natural happens and it starts looking very nice. Just like the human anatomy is very functional and it looks great. So um, I think it would grow from that. I think that, that sounds like the recipe. You know, I wonder if the new GT will use that flat crankshaft that's going to be in the Ford Mustang GT350. When I ask the folks at Ford, they just smile broadly, but keep their mouths shut. By the way, you can watch that entire show with Camillo on our website or YouTube channel. And I got to tell you, it is a good show. But anyway, that wraps up today's report. And I want to thank you for watching.